ain't ready yet. Wait. Hey guys, it's your girl Glam Neffison here, back at it again with the big get it again. And today we are going to be reviewing the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. Okay, I'm super excited. Before we jump into this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you can be notified whenever your girl uploads. Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation is basically a collab that Alyssa Ashley did with um, NYX or NYX. And if you don't know Alyssa Ashley, like, come on, like, you gotta know her, like, come on. She's, like, a big YouTuber, guys. She's fucking beautiful. She has a twin sister. And she doing it big. I ain't even gonna front. She doing it big. She collabed with NYX, um, and they came up with 45 shades, okay? Like, excuse me? 45 shades. I'm so happy for that because a lot of times with NYX, it's like, I only honestly had one option with NYX, like, and one of them I had to mix, so I'm happy that it's 45 shades. Everyone can kind of choose from. And like Jackie Aina said, it was kind of hard for me to choose a shade. And I still don't even know if this is my shade. I'm trying it right now. So I'm going to see. But guys, listen. I have like a story time real quick. Like, first of all, I was like, okay, should I go into Ulta? Then I said no. I'm like, if I go into Ulta... It might be sold out, so it's just it just makes sense for me to just order on NYX.com. Girl. <sighs> so I ordered from NYX. It came like five days later. When it came, it came in this bag here. Okay? So, so you know, I was excited. I was like, oh my god, yes! I was like, yes, my NYX foundation is here. <laughs> then I opened my bag. I'm like, all right, guys, I ordered warm mahogany and chestnut. I went based off what I've seen on YouTube, like, you know, referring to other females that have my same skin tone. I kind of went with them and their judgment and stuff like that. Basically, a guesstimate, okay? I really don't like to do guesstimates, but I notice usually when I do it, I'm right. That's why when you do do guesstimate, guys, meaning you're guessing your foundation shade, Always get two to three. Like, try to get two to three so that you can kind of be safe, okay? I got one mahogany and chestnut. Tell me what y'all see wrong here. Tell me what y'all see wrong here. This one is one mahogany. I ordered chestnut. Instead, they sent me deep espresso, guys. Like, what? Look at this. Look how dark this is. Like, this could probably work for a contour. Look. And it's super red. I could tell. Like, this one, I don't know, it might be too light. I really don't know. But I know that this one is deep espresso. And this one is warm mahogany. Like, where's my chestnut? Like, what's going on? I wrote them immediately. Like, I immediately emailed them. I'm like, hey, guys, uh, you guys sent me the wrong shit. Like, I ordered warm mahogany and chestnut. And you guys sent me deep espresso. So, they was like, oh, you know, send us pictures, send us proof. I sent them pictures. And they was like, okay, sorry about that. We're going to get a new one to you. So the new one came in the mail yesterday. I was super excited because I'm like, yes, finally I can do my video for you guys. It's been so long already um, since the foundation came out. So the new one came. So these are the two that came, which is Espresso and um, Warm Mahogany. So I'm supposed to have my chestnut. But instead, they sent the same deep espresso again so i now have two deep espressos and one mahogany i'm like wait 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 how y'all make the same fuck up like it's simple like this is shit that i'm talking about it's simple give me like all you gotta do is look at it look at the damn shit and it simply says deep espresso it simply says deep espresso on both of them like i don't understand what like what is the problem here like like what like whoever is is in charge of like the the inventory and sending shit out y'all gotta reevaluate them because it says deep espresso on both of these i am now stuck with two deep espressos and one mahogany okay i am so annoyed and upset like I don't even know anybody that could probably use these. I wrote them again. I emailed them again. Hello. I'm missing my chestnut. I, and let's see what they say about that. But anyway, guys, enough rambling. Um, I moisturized my face today with the Skin Perfecting Elixir 
from Muddy Body. And um, this is how it looks. Bottle's very dark, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. But basically, this is it here. And it is an oil. It's so good, guys. Um, I do have a code with Muddy Body, so go check them out. And the code is GlamNefXO. Okay. And I love this oil so far. I've been using it for two weeks. And it just keeps my skin nice and glowy, like... I'm gonna prime my face today with the Fenty Beauty. I didn't get the primer because I saw like a lot of kind of not so good um, reviews on it. So I was just like, okay, I'm not even gonna fuck with the primer because um, I do have combination skin. I think that's actually too much primer I put on, but oh well. But I didn't get the primer. So I'm using the Fenty primer because that's like my favorite primer now. I actually just got it guys oh yeah I'm bugging I think cuz I can't see I end up putting too much primer oh shit <laughs> alright let me get this okay, so I'm gonna take um the only color I can use which is warm mahogany I thought I was recording but I wasn't but yeah I just put um one mahogany on this side of my face. Okay, as you guys can see, it is full coverage. Um, I only used three pumps. So yeah, I'm liking the coverage that it's giving. And I'm thinking this is my shade because it looks pretty good to me. Well, we'll see how it oxidizes. actually liking this OD I mean maybe it wasn't meant for me to have chestnut I don't know cuz all this stuff I'm going through just to get my damn foundation maybe it just wasn't meant for me to have it because I don't know it just seemed like it's so much like just to get my shit but I do like the fact that um the bottle does come and guys listen I've been going through so much lately I've honestly had my nails on for almost two months, so I'm kind of happy about that. But now they're starting to come off. Like, I just got a fill-in the other day, and they're just now starting to come off. So, excuse my nails. I will be getting these shit soaked off. And I will be trying a new black-owned nail salon, so I'm excited about that. But, yeah, um, I basically just pumped the... I'm going to use two more pumps of it. Okay. I have to go out real quick, just out. And, um, I want to see how it is. So, I will be doing, like, a weird test because they claim that it can last for 24 hours. So, we'll see. So, unless I'm doing an event or something, there is only for me to have foundation on for no 24 hours. But, because when I have makeup on too long, my skin start itching, like, do you guys have any issues when you have makeup on too long? Because I know I do. Now, seriously, I think I found my favorite drugstore foundation. Like, I'm so serious. Like, look at this. Like, it looks good to me on, on camera. But I love the full coverage. Like... And guys, this is mattifying, so I don't know, but this is how I'm feeling with it. It feels really light on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy or anything. Um, I'm just liking it. I'm loving it. I will be using deep espresso to contour today.
Original Batman Lego Fire can't pull me up blazing Me I be the one that bless me Them baga come can't taste me Them baga come can't taste me Bad man, me a no say me a better than them Alright guys, so that's how this foundation look Let me know if you guys like it Alright, I feel like it feels nice and matte And it feels really light on my skin so After 8 hours, I'm going to come back on And we're going to see what it's looking like But this is how it's looking like and if you guys want to know about this hair, like, honestly, I didn't record it. But I can let you guys know how I did it in a separate video. And love you guys. Later. Okay guys, so yes, this is how the makeup looks after <sighs> Yeah, I did my I finished my makeup around two o'clock. It's now ten o'clock, so that's eight hours from now. It's ten twenty-one. Finished my makeup at two o'clock. And yeah, this is how the makeup looks. Um all I did, honestly guys, was touch up my mascara and change my lipstick. And this is how the makeup looks. I did not do anything to it. I am getting a little bit oily here, but nothing too crazy. And I'm really liking it. And it actually is extra proof. Like, this is a piece of paper. Yeah. Nothing is on the paper, guys. Like, nothing is on the paper. If I would have did this with like my NARS or something, <laughs> stuff would have been on it. I'm just liking how it looks, you know. Are you guys liking it? I did recurl my hair. That's the only thing I did do. Because um, my hair kind of like dropped in the wind because I went out earlier. I am loving this foundation. I really am. Um, I do still want to get my chestnut. So I do hope that Nick's get it together and gives me my chestnut. Um, it didn't crack or anything and I'm just really liking how flawless it looks after eight hours like you know it said that it does last for 24 hours but I'm loving how it looks after eight hours like looks really really good like it's not creasing under my eyes and I really appreciate that so overall I give, I give it a 10 and I'm very happy that I got it because it's fucking popping like it's really popping I'm so glad that I got another popping drugstore um, you know affordable foundation like you know I, I can't wait to try the chestnut I will do another video once I get the chestnut as well so you guys can use it as a reference when you're buying um, I do like my makeup to have like a golden undertone to it so I really am filling this foundation so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. And don't forget to love yourself first and keep it glamming. Glam Life is signing out. Love you guys. Mwah. Okay. Okay. Okay.
guys do it? Oh, critter or crit? Whatever, bye y'all.